New tonight at 10 as seniors graduated from Buckhorn High School tonight. They took some time to remember their classmate who died in a car accident in December. Way 31's Cody Fisher is live in Huntsville. He's finding out how Jordan Collier's legacy will live on well after today. Dan, over 300 Buckhorn High School seniors flooded through these doors here at the Von Braun Center tonight to uh, go through their graduation ceremony. But that ceremony served as another piece of the grieving puzzle for Jordan Collier's family. This iconic graduation song was met with excitement and happiness for hundreds in attendance at the VPC. But as Jordan Collier's family watched on from above the ceremony, they thought about the one student who should have been there. It just still hurts. It hasn't even been six months yet. and The pain is still like it was just yesterday. There was not a moment of silence for Jordan, but there was this chair draped in a cap and gown with a single rose in the seat to honor the former cheerleader and JROTC member. It means a lot too is that you know she was thought so highly of by her teachers and peers to be remembered. This standing ovation was to celebrate all the seniors joining the military, which would have included Jordan, who had joined the Army Reserves. Instead, a hallway in Buckhorn's JROTC building is being named in her honor, and the Jordan Collier Award has been created to honor the most outstanding cadet each year. It's such an honor to know that uh, an award will be given in her name uh, every year. Jordan's car was hit by Joshua Getzinger. He's charged with leaving the scene of an accident where someone died. The Madison County District Attorney's Office told Way 31 the case still has to be reviewed by a grand jury. Jordan's family wants one thing. Just justice. It's, uh, nothing's going to bring her back. The, the Madison County District Attorney's Office tells me that they don't have a timeline right now for when that grand jury will make a decision in this case. Reporting live in Huntsville, Cody Fisher, Way 31 News.